sometimes I think my life is hard and then I'll think about you and then I'll go, my life's not hard. <laughs> I'm Galak Moses Kansingong, a pastor of the Cameroon Baptist Convention in the northern part of Cameroon. So my role there is to coordinate and supervise church planting. It is a Muslim-dominated region of this country. And in the town, Muslims are like dominated in the town. But in the rural area, that is where we are succeeding to be able to plant churches in the rural area. Some of our churches are located just at the heart of the Boko Haram insurgents. So you find it very difficult for us to leave there. Boko Haram has been fighting for Islamic rule in Nigeria since 2002. Its members have killed hundreds of people. The wave of suicide attacks has already claimed more than 200 lives in Cameroon. Fought in the mists of the far north, it's a war against an unprecedented threat, of which the outcome is far from certain. We have had a series of bomb blasts in the north, but uh, that has been very scary. It has come to a point that maybe people are saying, but what are you still doing there? You better leave. It has been very scary. I, I find joy serving the Lord, even in the midst of the Boko Haram challenges. And I thank God also for the pastors, the cream of pastors that I have out there. No one is frightened because of the Boko Haram. We are ready, if God says it is our own time to come, by that means we are ready to go. So that is the challenge that we have out there. The common teachings, the lessons have helped me to be able to coordinate the churches, coordinate the pastors so that we can move God's name to higher height. And that has also helped me, especially in mentoring somebody that if you are not there, that person can take leadership. And that has helped me that I have done my best as God helped me with the lessons as I learned about mentoring. Now, if I'm living today, I have somebody that I can point and God has helped that he is now also in the lesson. And I've been talking with him. I told him that I know that if I am living today, I know you will take up leadership in this area and he is away. But God uh, has given us the courage through the lessons we have learned, thinking and living theology, that has helped me to be able to live and ready to die if it is the will of God as long as saving him. Wow.